Thank you for joining us tonight. Police say it wasn't just one student hit by a BB getting off the bus Tuesday afternoon, but two. The two 13-year-old boys arrested yesterday made an appearance in juvenile court today, and we are hearing from the Madison School District on how they're responding. Maddie O'Neill joins us now with the latest. Maddie. Eric and Charlotte, this is all in the midst of two Wisconsin student shootings in the past week, including one in Waukesha where a student was shot after pointing a pellet gun at officers. The district wants families to know they're not taking this case lightly. It's a big deal. Do not bring any kind of weapon looking anything object to school. That's interim superintendent Dr. Jane Belmore's message to students after a BB gun was found in a Jefferson Middle School locker Wednesday morning. Our school safety is really, really important to us. Police arrested a 13-year-old boy who they say used that BB gun to shoot on the bus and out the window Tuesday. I was like really worried because it could have hit my eye. Striking two female students as they exited, one in the hand and one on the arm. Another 13-year-old boy was arrested for allegedly bringing that BB gun into school Wednesday morning. The police were already there. So it was kind of at that point in time when children said something. That was an example of students really saying, stepping up and saying something that was really important. The boys appeared in juvenile court Thursday, released to their mother's custody on the conditions. They stay away from each other, the victims, and weapons of any kind. I would just want parents to certainly keep lines of communication open with, kid, open with their kids. You know, what happened at school today? Is there anything that concerns you? In this incident, Belmore says she believes staff members did everything they should have in line with safety procedures. Even though it's hard to describe to the public what's going on at the moment is happening, we felt very comfortable that things were um, in good shape there. She says the district treats incidents like this as learning experiences. We're all in this together with uh, wanting our children in our schools to be as safe as they can possibly be. According to the district, bringing any type of gun, including a BB gun, results in mandatory suspension and a recommendation for expulsion. Information on MMSD's safety procedures can be found on its website. We'll link to that on channel3000.com.